Hey guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So first off, I want to say thank you for all the love and support in the comments. Um, everybody was so nice in the video when I posted about the fish being sick. And this video kind of relates to that. Um, one of you guys reached out to me and offered me some new fish at a very, very discounted price. Um, and basically said, sorry for your loss. How about maybe these fish for the tank? The problem with that is, I don't know if it came across in the video as I lost the whole lot, but I didn't lose the whole lot. I think there's six or seven survivors. We'll go check that out in, in the, later in this video. But um, the problem here is, I really want these new fish I've been offered, but the six or seven survivors need a tank. Um, anybody who doesn't know, the Viha slash Flowerhorn slash Hybrid slash random shit tank in the fish room. I don't like it. You guys probably know I don't like it. And if you've noticed how little I maintain it, I think that reflects how much I don't really like it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw all of those fish in this eight foot. Um, it might slightly be survival of the fittest, but I think the only fish I would really like to keep for maybe a future breeding project is the the, a couple of the male Texas cross flower horns and they're big enough to hold their own in that tank. Um, and then it's going to, there's, there's a lot in that tank. So we're going to have to get the pond done sooner rather than later. I need to find a new su supplier for my fiberglass because, oh, and the door's getting worse guys. The supplier I had for my fiberglass was really rude to me last time I was there and customer service is like my number one thing so I have no desire to go back to him but I have a chat to my mate Josh he has done a lot of fiberglassing in similar situations to me and I'll find out who his supplier was and um, I really want a new fiberglass supplier because it's a question that locals ask me a lot like where to get it from and I don't have an answer at the moment but anyway, let's start pulling this tank apart. Alright guys, so this tank here is the tank that we're going to clear out. Um, there's actually a pure Texas cichlid in there, which I think a couple of you guys in the comments have asked me to breed her, but um, it's just space at the moment, so we're gonna find a... Oh, it, it, I could find the space actually if I found a male, but I'd have to find the right male. I definitely just wouldn't go using any random male. Um, so, I was thinking about draining the tank to catch them, but I've got an idea. I've got this divi division in here. Um, so I was thinking that if we get, we'll just do a trial with these fish here. If I get them all, down one end like this. They can't go anywhere. That worked good. <sighs> Alright guys, so if you ever want to catch fish in your tank, just get a divider that's specifically the right size for the tank to catch the fish. Whoa, I didn't drop one on the ground and I just dropped them like a meter away from the bucket. You guys should be proud. No fish on the ground. Um, so here's the thing, right? The, the new fish are really big. <sighs> probably 20 plus centimeters. And obviously that big, they will go awesome in the seven by four foot. But the seven by four foot is 
It's not the safest tank at the moment. Like you guys can agree with me on this one. We're not we're not relying on the seven foot to be the most secure water. What's the word like water holder? Um, so the thing with this is, I think this nine foot is going to be better for the new fish. It's only five. It's five fish at 20 to 25 centimeters, I think. I'm not 100% on the size. I didn't actually confirm sizing with him. Um, one other problem with this tank is I hate this filter up here. I'm gonna have to give the tank a really good clean out as well if we get the new fish. Um, so the thing is like, this tank's nine foot, it's not exactly small. So it'll be plenty for the new fish. But like I say, this tank is completely feral. So if we put the new fish in here, it needs a huge overhaul. This isn't working as well as I was hoping, guys. Um, I am getting a few, but I thought I might get like the whole lot in one hit. I was really way too, what's the word? Optimistic. It is working, but I'm definitely catching them easier than I did last time I tried to catch fish in this tank. So far we've caught like 20 fish. Oh, I haven't dropped a fish yet. How good's that? Um, all right, I'm gonna catch, I think there's like three left. And then I'll show you the fish before we put them in the new tank. All right guys, so I caught all the fish. Probably a few too many fish to have in a 10 liter bucket. <laughs> but you get that on the big jobs. They were only in there for five, well actually a bit longer than five minutes. They went in there for any period of time, but. All right, so apparently Jesse reckons a running joke about these nets being invisible, but they're not actually invisible to the fish. All right, so I kind of want to show you what's here. There's flower horn coals, and that's one of the Texas hybrids I want to keep. Um, I'm, in, I'm like a rock and hard place with the, why don't they get out? With the Texas hybrids. It's a fish I'll never ever let leave my fish room, but I don't need, I don't need as many as I have. I, don't, I just don't want to cull them all. There's actually, that's a decent Thai silk male. There's another Texas hybrid. Um, then that one there, that's a pure Texas female. She looks like she's got a bit of fin problem. I'm guessing it's up from that tank that they were in having so many fish. And it honestly didn't have enough filtration for what was in there, but um, like I said, you know when if oh they're on the ground. Uh, there's some culls. There's actually one female flower horn in there. I'd really like to keep, but I just don't have the the facilities to keep her. Um, I think I've only got two Viha left. I don't know what happened to them, guys. World War Three in there. I think the big males all fought, and then. I was only left, I think I'm only left with two females because the females kind of stayed hidden and the big males fought to the death. Um, flower horn culls. There is a nice fader in there, but once again, nowhere to put it, unfortunately. Uh, but it should make for a decent display tank. Um, everyone's, look <laughs> Everyone's already being aggressive in there. Um, so now that's done, uh, let's clean up after ourselves. We won't leave that sitting there. There is one Viha left in the tank. I can't catch it, but um, I'm gonna clean it. So I made a huge mess trying to catch them. 
to the point that I couldn't even see in the tank to catch them. That was hopeless. Half of the water ended up back in the shed. Um, so, what was my point? Oh yeah, there's one VHA I left, have left to catch. Ah, oh, I just cut my knee open on that. Um, we need that eskew to get our new fish as well. There's two little flower horns there um, taunting me. Anyway, I'm gonna clean this tank. Oh. All right guys, check it out. I pretty much ended up doing 100% water change and it's, it's still not enough. It's not as clean as I'd like it to be. Um, I just went up and down, up and down. And every time I got to the other end, it was already messy at the end I started at. Um, what, what else is my story? There's still a bee high in the tank. I've got to try get it, but I figured I'd get the water filling up. I, I'll actually be able to see it now. And there's some baby flower horns in here. Got one. Oh, you guys won't be able to see. I don't know, like, you throw the coals in there. Somehow, sometimes they survive. I don't, really, I don't think I'll throw them in the big tank. I think I'll just cull them. The v half doesn't look healthy. I honestly, it doesn't look healthy and then it swims better than Ian Thorpe on a Thursday night. Um, it, it doesn't stay upright. It, it's got nipped fins. It's got sunken belly. I don't, I think, I think that one might be on the cull list as well. But that's about it for this tank. I don't know whether I'll throw the new fish, the f new fish, they're not new, the um, buck of chromis in here tonight. Well, actually I can, because it's been like 40 degrees out there. Well, no, today wasn't 40. It's been quite warm out there, so the water coming in is only a degree or two cooler than the tank water. This power lead pissing me off. Um, so I, I can throw the bucko straight in there. Let's find out how many survive. All right, guys, so this first net full here Looks like we've got two males, two females, and a catfish. All right, this net here is one female, I think. Yeah, one female. So we've got three females and two males. Um, there's a chance that they'll fight, but they've got nine foot to spread their aggression. Um, and I just hope I get a mouthful out of them, even just one mouthful. You guys know they're my favourite fish. So I just want one mouthful to get a new breeding colony out of. Um, this is kind of how I ended up with the last lot as well. So I had 15 before and they fought to the death. And I ended up with one male and two females. And all of my fry only came from one female. I bred her like five or six times. Um, I will say though, somebody I sold fry to many moons ago has a breeding colony. So, absolute worst case scenario, I'll fork out some shillings to buy some more of these fish. Um, I had Jesse from Hooked on Fish contact me saying that, um, oh shit, he can organise some a breeding colony for over east maybe, ra -da -ra. And I had people reach out like trying to help, which is awesome. And. Um, I've def there's a second avenue. The other thing is if if this doesn't work, I could always go the Buckachroma spectables or whatever they're called. Um, they're the smallest of the Buckachromas, but um, it's obviously an option. But yeah, I kind of made the decision just then 
that the Brachycoremus are going up there. I started putting the fish in that tank and was thinking, oh, I meant to be deciding which tank to put them in. Um, which means this tank is free for the new fish. I almost said what the new fish are, but um, I'm not in a hurry to fill this tank. That corner there is what I was worried about, so I'm just touching that every day to make sure that's dry. Um, so um, I'm just going to let this fill up slowly. Oh, there is one problem. It's kind of a reasonable size problem. It's to do with water on the floor. You guys know I'm trying to get no water on the floor and it's just not working for me. So the other day when I tried to take the um, standpipe off, I accidentally loosened that fitting up there. See, so, um, that's leaking. So I need to fix that, but I'm not sure how to fix it. I need to tighten it, but it, I just don't know how. I'm probably going to have to um, take this tank out to get to it to tighten it, which sucks. It, it kind of does suck, but it is what it is. That's fish keeping. I don't want anyone to think that losing fish and making a sad video means that I'm sad about life or anything. Um, I'm really happy with life. I have a great life. I'm appreciative of um, all the support you guys give me. I'm appreciative of the life I have. And um, I'm really, I was showing you the dead fish. I wasn't showing you that I'm disappointed in life, if that makes sense. There was a couple of people I think were a bit worried about me mentally, but um, I'm 100% fine, guys. Um, fish can be replaced. Our health and our family can't be replaced. So that's what's important to me. Um, same goes for you guys. It's an up and down hobby. And if you've lost fish recently, just remember, um, even though it is a life of an animal, they are just fish. Um, as long as you've got your well, the best health you can have. I shouldn't say as long as you've got your health because some people watching might not have the health, but appreciate what you have is what I'm trying to say. So if you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit that little red button, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.